Yo, what's up guys, Mr. Tech Gamer, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own Gary's Mod server. This should work on Windows 10, Windows 8, and also Windows 7, I assume. Uh, everything that you guys will need for this tutorial will be located down below in the description for you guys' convenience. And lastly, if you guys have any problems, concerns, constructive criticism, comments, compliments, whatever, <laughs> please leave in the comments section below. That we greatly appreciate it. Get back to you as soon as possible. And without any further ado, guys, let's jump straight into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing what you guys are going to want to download is Steam CMD. So go to the first link in the description, take you to this website. So just scroll down to Windows, to where it says number two, download Steam CMD for Windows, and just go ahead and click on these, this little link and it'll, it'll download. Uh, if you guys don't have Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, you're most likely going to have to go find it in your downloads or wherever you have your downloads set to. But if you're using Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, it should just pop up straight in your browser and you can just click on it. So do not open it in the WinRAR. And speaking of WinRAR, if you guys don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip, I do. You're kind of going to need it for this tutorial, but I'm sure 90, 99% of you guys already have WinRAR, so hopefully you do. Um, so as I was saying, do not actually launch CMCMD inside of the WinRAR because it will not work. That's not what we're doing. So uh, yeah, don't do that. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is right click on your desktop and create a new document. Sorry, not a document, <laughs> a folder. So right click on your desktop, hover over new, click on folder. <clears throat> and I'm just going to call this server and just drag Steam CMD into that folder. Okay. Close that WinRAR, and now we're going to run Steam CMD. So the initial launch that you, when you start up Steam CMD, it's going to download a whole bunch of updates. Uh, this shouldn't take long at all. Should just be a quick thing, and it's going to put a whole bunch of files into this server folder that you just created on your desktop. So again, just ignore it. So we can just close out of that. Make this a primary focus. So. There are a couple of commands that we got to put in first. So the very first command, please make sure you spell these commands right too. By the way, guys, please spell them right because there's problems where people have been spelling things wrong and it completely screwed up their installation. So make sure you actually spell everything right because Steam CMD is case sensitive. So I'm just going to put in um, the first first command is login anonymous. I'm sure, people should know that. So log on anonymous and this will log you into the steam servers so uh, now what we're going to do is set the folder or the direction not direction sorry the directory for the folder in which you want the server files to go into so I have my directory right here under in my um, my C drive right here in my test so that is my folder so what we're going to do is put force underscore install underscore dir sorry if that voice crack that's pretty embarrassing and then space and then wherever it is so mine's on my c drive colon backslash and then the name of the folder which is just test and click on ok and now what we're going to do is actually install the files so you want to type in the following command app underscore update 4020 and click enter now for me it's going to say the app is already updated but for you guys it's going to go through a line of sequences uh, like percent by percent of downloading and it might take a long time it depends on your internet it might take anywhere between you know half an hour to an hour depending on your internet and um but once it is completely done it's installed it should say success app 4020 is installed and we're ready to go so once you are done installing Gary's mod files. The next thing what we're going to do now is to validate them to make sure they are compatible with the Gary's mod game version. So you want to type in app underscore update 4020 then validate and go ahead and click enter and now it's just going to go through and make sure like I said that all the files are correct that, they're, that they are validated for the current Gary's mod version and what you want to do from now on is to make sure that you are online for your on your Steam so may, as you guys can see I'm online, make sure you are online and it should say done. So now we can close out of Steam CMD because we are done with it. Congratulations, we are almost done. We're probably about 50% of the way done now. 
So now what we're going to do now is go to our folder in which uh, their gears model were installed on. So I'm on this test. So ignore the start.bat, <laughs> ignore that, pretend it was never there. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually create the start.bat or the start.txt or basically the application that's going to boot up our server for us. So what we're going to do is right click on our desktop, not our desktop, sorry I'm so used to saying that, right click on in the folder which your server is located on, hover over new and click on text document. And we're just going to call this start and click enter and we're going to go into this text document we're going to paste this link for my paste bin right here starting code again I'll leave the uh, all the links will be down below so you don't have to worry about it so copy this and paste it here and we're going to change the game we right here see where it says C strike change that to Gary's mod like so and then the map right here where it says D underscore dust we're going to change that to um, you could either change it to GM underscore construct or flat grass, or we're just going to change it to GM underscore construct. Yeah. Oh, what did I do? GM underscore construct. And then our max players um, wouldn't really bother messing around with this. Um, if you want to, you can, but um, there's no need, so I'm just going to keep it as is. And then save the document, and now we're going to actually convert it to a batch file. So to do that, make sure that your file name extensions is checked. So to, to do that, go to your top right here where it says just a little expand the ribbon, a little down arrow, click on that, click on view, and make sure file name extensions is checked. Please make sure that it's checked because if it is not, people will be very unhappy that it is not working for them. So make sure that is checked. And then right click on the start.txt, rename, and delete the txt and change it to bat. You might get this warning, click yes, and then now it is changed to bat. So now we're going to go into our gears mod, cfg, server cfg, we're gonna paste this cfg here. Right here, I already have it pasted in, but it's also on my, sorry, it's also on my, see, uh, it's also on my paste bin, sorry. So um, copy this from my paste bin and paste it in our server.cfg. So uh, delete this whole line if no password. So um, just delete this, you don't need that there. Delete that, it might script your password. So uh, host name is the name of your server. So I'm just gonna call mine um, test for tutorial. Archon password, um, you should have an Archon password, it's very important for the security of your server, so I'm just going to put mine to test. Then for our password, which uh, you don't really need, but you know it's good to have if you're you know constructing your server, uh, change this to whatever you want. You know, it's a password. I'm just going to make it, I'm just going to call it B. Just B, you know, as in the insect B. <laughs> what a funny name. Good password, lol. Now, so we're going to go ahead and save that. That is our that's our server.cfg. And now we're actually gonna launch our server. So we're gonna go back to Gary's mod uh, to the front and we're gonna double click our start.bat. And if it comes up with like a note of uh, sorry, a notice saying that oh yeah, um, you know, access your server your uh, firewall and all that, just accept it. Alright, so once it is up, uh, it should say VAC mode. Vac secure mode is activated, so that means that the server is officially online. So what we're going to do now is actually open up my Gary's mod. So I'm going to be right back. All right, guys. So we're back in Gary's mod, and I will show you guys how to connect to your server. So go ahead and click on Find Multiplayer Game. Click on Local Network, Sandbox. And then this is my server, as you guys can see. Test for tutorial. GM underscore construct. 16 players max. And our password, I believe I set it to B. I think that's correct. Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. Eh? So as I could see right here, it says client Titan B is connected. And I'm now joining my brand new server that we just created. So uh, joining the server shouldn't take long since you're connecting straight to your own modem, sort of. And now <laughs> we got our server going. As you guys can see, I can um, spawn stuff. 
vehicles, whip stuff around, do whatever you want. And I apologize if the uh, it has orangey lighting. It's because I have my flux running. So uh, <laughs> I apologize for that if that uh, sort of makes it a little bit weird. But if our server's done. This is basically the fundamentals. If you guys want to get actually your like your friends on or your, your Steam friends or whatever you want to have them on and play with you, you are going to need a port forward. Um, obviously, I don't really believe in making a tutorial tutorial for port forwarding because it's very it's complicated for some people and it kind of makes it confusing because if if you guys are looking at my router your router could be different and it just adds to the confusion so I'm, I'm gonna try to avoid making a tutorial for port forwarding but if it's massively I guess popular in the comment section I will see what I can do but that's pretty much the tutorial simple as that right uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial if it was helpful don't forget to smack a like button and subscribe for future tutorials and again, if you guys have any problems or concerns, don't forget to leave them in the comments section below, and I'll be try to help you, try to help you out, walk you through your problem. That's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.